recording again. Hello, welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm Alex. This is Stellaris running the Star Trek New Horizons mod. We are playing as the United Federation of Planets. Everything in this wonderful cobalt color are either ours or one of our protectorates. We're doing very well. Ab absurdly well, probably. We're upgrading our fleets. So we'll be right up near our fleet capacity, uh, reinforcing our fleets, not upgrading. Uh, we have enough money to look into purchasing a few more star bases. And I think going coreward would be a smart decision, but we don't have any planets without star bases in that direction. Hmm. Hmm. Murphid, Lambda, Serpentis, and Shetty are tempting prospects just because they're closer to the core. Let's look. Uh, in Bajoran space, Pacifica. Yeah, okay, I'd love to upgrade Pacifica Station. It's our furthest down to the galactic south. That could use some attention. Let's do Ultima Thule and Duzaria just because these are pretty isolated geographically, as is Pacifica. I'm creating some uh, static defenses that are not terrible in those areas. Seems like it could be beneficial. We have a lot that we can apparently upgrade on our planets. Oh right, we just got better mining operations, so yeah, a lot. Alright, we have Trappist-1. None of Trappist's planets are actually colonizable. They're desert, marginal, marginal, rocky, and rocky. Actually, that's... I take back my complaining last hour about, like, they're wrong about the planet types and the Trappist system. These are actually pretty close. For the most part, they're, um... too hot or too cold. Um... But desert's close enough. In truth, they should probably be frozen or something like that, but whatever. Gas giant ship. Active scans of Domitus 6 have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep within the atmosphere of the gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage this derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such crushing pressure must be a magnificent prize, and our science officer has promised a salvage project of her own. Proposed a salvage project of her own. I'm going to say the effort's too great. Leave it down there because our fleet's big enough and good enough. This ship won't be that good. And this will give us influence, which is a rare commodity. An increasingly rare commodity. Let's scroll all the way back up to the top and work on planet upgrades. This is almost entirely going to be mining networks that can be upgraded. But upgrading mining networks tends to be a very good mineral investment as you put in money to get out more money. Hard to complain with that. Well, I guess it's never that hard to complain, but it works. Mineral, mineral, minerals. Construction. Frangi are greedy cowards, <laughs> but they're industrious and thrifty, so our Ferengi should actually be on this planet. And I don't want to get too, like, micromanagey with this, but I'm going to go ahead and get micromanagey with this. Our Ferengi are actually what should be working our energy and mineral tiles here. Are the Bullions, are, they're thrifty, oh, so they're also good at working the energy tiles. Uh, you're Bullion. You're all Bullion or Ferengi? Okay. Complete. Technology discovered. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I see that pop up. But I'm going to ignore it. Uridians are repugnant, greedy, but they're good at sociology. They're very good at research and sociology, like real good. So anything on here involving research that doesn't have a Uridian on it, i.e. nothing, was going to be switched over. Why is nobody doing the Bureau of Cultural Exchange? Eh, it's fine. Beta Prime. 
Let's just upgrade these real quick and move on. We don't need to manually assign pops, though I'd kind of like to. Waiter. We'll do it later. Once, once our population is actually fully grown and I have to quit jumping around less. Warp age weapon R&D. We have been leading a research team researching the modification of weapon systems to offer unique effects. Please to announce we've made a substantial breakthrough, offering us a number of potential applications to pursue which could lead to unique ways that our weapons operate. Please allow us to know which of the avenues you wish to develop. Be more specific. Anti-armor will be adjusted to destroy enemy armor more effectively. Anti-shield will destroy enemy shielding more effectively. Long-range artillery will bring warheads of long-range torpedoes will be improved. Anti-hull will do more hull damage. Point defense will be adjusted in order to destroy incoming fighters and projectiles more easily. Tempting. If we look at our ship designer and look at our destroyer, which is our mainstay, we're using light modulated phasers. We're already doing increased shield damage, but we have reduced hull damage. We also have dedicated phaser turrets that have the same thing going on, and even our photon torpedoes don't do additional hull damage. So any additional hull damage would be nice. Uh, Anti-hull specialization is what I'm thinking here. Let's look at our other modifiers. We have... Hmm. We have more modifiers than this, don't we? Let me, let me look at a ship. <laughs> show me, show me this ship designer. Show me one of these. Does it break it down in here? It does not. Show me the damage. The... Do, 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 do. Okay, maybe I need to look at a physical ship. I know we have modifiers increasing... our damage. Hmm. Well, kind of, but not explicitly. Uh, I just have to trust that it's in here somewhere, huh? Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go with anti-hull specialization. Weapons will be adjusted in order to breach enemy hulls more effectively because we're already doing anti-shield damage. I could double down on that, but I'd rather mitigate our problems. So let's do anti-hull. Technology discovered. That gives us plus 15 anti-hull damage. Now am I going to see that reflected in here? Maybe not. Yeah, this is something behind the scenes, which is a little... It's an Empire modifier, really? Maybe it's just not a very visible modifier? Yeah, this is an invisible modifier. Fuck knows how many more of these we have that I've just forgotten about. Okay, fair enough. Heavy beam section sounds very cool. For the battleship class group, specialization design focus on mounting multiple heavy beam weapon emplacements. Not necessary right now. Central tactical station sounds cool, but we're not going to use it. Right now, aren't we? What are we using in our red slots? We don't have any. Never mind. Let's go for Hollow Sweets. These are cool. Uh, Virtual Bliss and Hollow Sweets are very interesting. This would make people happier in, from our star bases. Yeah, I guess that's okay. I'm hoping there's more link to this. Shuttlecraft phasers actually are what we should go after just to make our destroyers just slightly better. Initiating communications. What do you got? You will give me energy and minerals for active sensors. Yes. Not many, but whatever. I'm not gaining anything or losing anything by doing that. The Nausicans again, this time, the same issue. Ah, now it's not our xenophility or xenophilism that's the problem, it's our pacifism. Well, that's fun education programs. Survey complete. Try to help the Noskins learn to be pacifists, these xenophobic isolationists. Oh, they're fanatic pacifists now. Oh, well that worked. Very well, in fact. So the xenophobe thing is the only problem. Now, although some of them switched to being pacifists, they're still diehard militarists. And probably will be for some time. Are they in a water room? Are Nausicans native to a water world? Tropical. Okay. 
that that makes a lot more sense than being from an ocean planet. I've seen stranger things. Construction. Complete. I've seen things stranger than that. Now, okay, you know what? This has popped up before. All oh, right, there's a way to exploit this. I need this, but I can't have it right now. I have too many leaders? Really? Really? Hmm. Hmm. Can't recruit any of these because they're over the limit. Interesting. Who's my least experienced person I don't mind getting rid of? You and you. Yeah. Goodbye. And goodbye. You might be thinking, Alex, what are you doing? And, you know, that's fair. But I'm going to go ahead and farm up some more influence. God, get me a doctor. Get me one of those newfangled doctors. And the reason for me wanting to get a doctor is so I can then hand the doctor over to the Interspecies Medical Exchange Program, which will give us more influence, which we can use to finally, finally accept this event. Now, I realize if I'm going to do this, which is functionally cheating, I could instead just cheat. I could open up the console, type in influence 200, be done with it. But I'm not doing that. <laughs> just because it can do it, doesn't mean you should do it. And although this is only slightly inconveniencing us, it's still an inconvenience. And it's still me engaging with the game mechanics as design to get what I want, rather than disengaging from the game mechanics because I've decided my way of doing it is more effective, rather in terms of, see, there we go, time or energy. It may be, uh, arguably it is, the, the mechanics could use a little revision, and I think this is a unintentional way that the interspecies medical exchange works, that a player could just pause and functionally cheat themselves in an infinite amount of influence if they're patient enough. But it's in the game! And generally, I like to stay in the lines of a game that I'm playing rather than rocking the boat too much. That said, I do rock the boat probably more than I should, i.e. all my complaints about this star system's built dumb. I would do it this way. In real life, this isn't that far from this, and this misrepresents the scale of her for derpa derpa. You know, whatever. You, you, you've heard me talk. But. <laughs> and this particular occasion, I feel like being principled. If for no other reason to, than to make a point that this is possible. Wow, I don't want to get rid of any of these. Manaika leaders are pretty good. Genius leaders are great. Custom AI assistants are really good. Really good. Alright, I'm... So after all that talking about not wanting to cheat, I am tempted to. I, um... You know, for, for all of my decrying the performance problems of Jurassic World Evolution, I've been greatly enjoying it. It's very pretty, and my inner child is, like, is ecstatic about all the cool dinosaurs and how pretty they are and how exciting it is to see them interact with each other, even though the social engagement is pretty, pretty scripted and feels that way. It doesn't feel as immersive as I'd like. I'm still really awed by the, the quality of the audio assets, just how amazing it is just to sit next to the enclosures or in the enclosures and listen to them talk to each other or roar or go eat a goat or something. It sounds amazing. 
and it looks really really good too so it would make sense that well that you don't get performance out of a vacuum unless it's a good vacuum you you don't get something out of nothing is what i'm saying and if that something happens to be heavy drain on your processor well you know them's the brakes okay if i get all ai assistance i'm gonna hire these and actually put them on ships because they're too good to too good to hire and fire like i've been doing all right hey welcome aboard interspecies medical exchange yes hello i have a doctor for you transfer this over now i'm not even all that far into the game playing five hours last night and <clears throat> three hours off on my own beforehand i've only seen what, like, eight different species of dinosaur? Maybe not even that many? Oh, hell yeah. Wow, that went a lot faster. Thank you, Maroc, for... Thank you, R and Jesus, for making that happen faster. And there's a total of 42, I think, right now, with further planned released later on. Updated. Further planned for release in the future. All right, do the research study. Hell yeah. Let's go in here. All right, Yuana, you're cool, but you gotta go. Core, oh man, Core, you've been really good for us, but you gotta go. Ah, oh, Core, you're my boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So these increase research speed by 10%. If these are leading uh, engineering, physics, and society research, that's good. However, these give survey and a bunch of other stuff, so they're worth getting. You're a Tellurite. You're a Betazoid. Ooh, Betazoids are... Betazoids are telepathic. I want Betazoids. I very much want Betazoid leaders. So, Kojo, get hired. Because being telepathic, if we take a look at what I was just taking a look at, telepathic species are capable of unlocking the psionic tech tree that offers some risks but many rewards. So if we get all science staff being Betazoid or uh, Vulcan or I think Anar are also telepaths, right? Yeah. If we get all telepaths doing our research, we'll unlock rare texts we wouldn't otherwise get, which is very, very, very exciting. They need to have the right traits, right? Gojo here is, uh, is a little less qualified than Thelos, because he's not a genius, but he is a psychic, or a telepath, and that, uh, that's pretty dope. Alright, hire you, fire you. Alright, Vulcan, genius, perfect. You are going to, if I had to guess, telepathy's gotta be society research, right? I don't know that, but I'm putting her in here regardless. Kojo, you have a custom AI assistant, but I'm still tempted just to make you... Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. This is not not ideal. Affirmative. Which is a sidekick in every department. Give me telepaths all over the place because... That's contingent on unlocking the psionic tech tree, which we can't get otherwise. And even if the other people are geniuses, they're not telepathic. And they can't they can't give me what I want, so they they gotta go. Where are oh, I must have minimized the tab. Yep, civilian ships have been minimized. Alright. You have a leader, you have a leader. You don't. You you do now. You have leader. You have a leader. You don't because you're moving system to system. Fix that. You don't have a leader. Fix it. You do. You don't. Let's get you a leader. We can't. Is it the Voyager? Uh, I feel bad getting rid of something called Voyager. Sorry, buddy. Time to go. All right. Well, that's that. Sagittarius A, why don't you build mining stations and research stations there? Harold, you can go get drunk. 
No, you can't get Geraldo. We don't have enough influence. There we go. Construction complete. What the fuck was I doing? Was I upgrading planets? I must have been. That's a thing I do. Yeah. Construction complete. Construction complete. This should be done in a month. The Tamarian language study. Tamarian. Whatever. Darmok Angelata Tanara. Uh, our team of human linguists have made significant progress in our understanding of the Tamarian language. Our universal translators have been updated with an idiomatic translation module to convey the, to convey the meaning behind their speech. So now we know the river in Tarmac in winter, or Tamark in winter, means be silent enemy. Uh, yeah. Alright, fair enough. Just because we can understand them doesn't mean they'll have nice things to say to us. That's fair. <laughs> we can go for star base level 4. I'm not doing this. We can't afford the star bases we have. <laughs> I'm not going that far in. We can get better army health. Personal vacuum energy... Or vacuum resistant energy suit. Eh, it's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah, I convinced myself by trying to unconvince myself. How's fleet construction going at- Oh, Jupiter Station can have more! Yeah, throw a shipyard on that bad boy, and... No, Orbital Manufactory? Would just give us more minerals, that's a little silly. Ooh. Okay, that's worth looking at, but ECM Jammer? No. Tractor Beam? No. No. Warp Inhibitor? No. Holographic Training Center. This improves the build speed and reduce at the cost of armies, which we're not making many of. Orbital Hospital is cool because it increases population growth speed, but nah. Deluxe Restaurant? Maybe. Gives unity. Luxury Hotel? The, the Dilithium Manufactory is actually tempted because I'll raise our fleet cap. Orbital Museum is tempting. That is a shit ton. Holy fuck. Uh, that's what I should have been building instead of these. That is a shit ton of unity. We're gonna go for an orbital science center. Because it doesn't look like any of the rest of these do anything. Anchorage is plus three. Uh, yeah. Let's just, let's do that. Now I have to go down the list and make sure I have museums all over the place. Because if I didn't, that is a mistake. Museums and colonial bureaus or orbital prisons are both fine. Yeah, I missed a few of these. Colonial bureau. Okay, museum, 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 museum. Museum in. U. S. E. U. M. Museum, museum. That's how we spell. Aha! Museum. Yeah, I knew I was doing something wrong here. Just didn't know what. I built the wrong structure. Uh, this is too small to build a museum yet. Too small to build a museum. Okay, that's fine. Universal, uh, unusual encounter and Taggart. Is it? Oh, the Samek aliens. These we don't know about. Oh. Huh. That's a unique ship class. No, no, no. Are these nomads? These are nomads. Yeah. So we won't have a way to investigate them. Somebody else just got the nomad event. So these are galactic nomads. Ah, so the Fendomar might be getting free uh, Stellaris ships. Okay. I'm good for them. What are we doing in the actual shipyard? We're done? Holy fuck. That's so fast. I mean, I know it took a while, but still, to pump out that many ships, that's... Dang. Alright. Alright. 
So I'm going to need a second construction chip down here in the Klystrand system. And we don't seem to have one. So I'm going to pop in a Mabu here. Give me another Rhine class ship. Yeah, our, we're not really in a position to be expanding over here at all. You know, I'm going to queue up Technology survey missions, discovered. but... We just are not making the influence to be expanding in every direction at once. Which is good, we shouldn't be able to do that, regardless of our industrial prowess. Psychohistory centers are going to give us more society output. Very cool. Prospectors Union. Nanite antiviral agent. This is very good for dealing with the Borg, which we're not doing yet. Cultural forum. I'm gonna go with that. More unity output. Makes me happy. Ooh, we're only upgrading one of these here. Ah, dang. The Herogen Sovereign Herogen Planets. What? That is not what your name starts out as. You've turned into Uridite Explorers. What the fuck? Wow, you've shifted quite a bit. The Zinkethi have shifted towards egalitarian. What? Yo, uh... Are we rivals? We have claims on you. I have claims on you? I haven't made claims on you. And you have claims on me. Well, okay, so it's a self-perpetuating hate system then. It's probably leftover claims from integrating the Binar. But you being egalitarian opens up a door, Sinkethi. Thank you. Construction complete. We don't have construction. Do I even have rivals anymore? We serve the Union. Are you my the rival? Empire won't fall to those vermin. I don't have rivals anymore. We're too big. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, we don't border anyone powerful enough to be our rival right now. Dang. Big fish in a big pond. The Matron Consortium. We understand that your empire is home to an individual whose brilliant mind transcends... The tragical privativeness of your race. While the talents of Raimundo Martin are sadly wasted. Alright, who, who's Raimundo Martin? You can have him. I mean, yeah, they're a genius, but their talents are their talents are actually wasted where they are. So that's fine. You can have him. Um are sadly wasted in the United Federation of Planets. We Metron always have a Metron always have a use for skilled scientists work in our archives. As such, we are offering you a unique chance to earn our favor by allowing us to take charge of him. We've already had a ship en route to pick him up, so you only need to say yes and everything will be settled. Uh no. Yeah. Goodbye, Raymundo. You're not dead. <laughs> the game's lying. Raimundo's not dead. Fake news. Uh, Desarians or Klingon? I guess it doesn't much matter. Let's go with the Desarian. One of these no longer has proper leadership, so we just have to click down, find the USS Walker. Needs that new leadership. There's Bermdin Rotharag. Awesome. Construction complete. So the consortium down here. Keepers of knowledge. Yeah, you don't have much. You're not gonna do much for me. Noskins medium intensity? Nope, just low intensity. Just eking our way forward. <clears throat> Yeah, your Mabu, go over here. Oh, 
How close are you? God, these go so much faster than they used to be. It's still kind of slow, but you you gotta love trans warp drive. <clears throat> Is this in sensor range? Can I see this now? I can, it's in sensor range. So one of these fleets on their own should be able to take care of this crystal anomaly. Just going all out. Throwing 10 times its fleet strength at it. Just, just to make sure the incident that happened last time is not a repeat. It's not something we uh, have to awkwardly deal with again. Great Depot. Orbital Museum, Upgrade. You have defensive platforms that you can have upgraded. Profits? What? It's a profits level space station, or vessel 1000. Can I just disband these? Yeah. Now I'm gonna disband these. The upkeep on these is marginal, probably. Right? Ah, that, not that marginal, actually. One mineral per month. They're not standardized, and I don't have any need for them, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Initiating communications. Who this? No. This is a fuck ton of destroyers. 40 destroyers. Which one of these designs do I like most? So this is Enterprise era, this is Original Series era, and this is, I guess, Next Generation era, which is that we're at now. I, I'll be real with you, the Next Generation era are probably the best. The Enterprise era were pretty sweet too, the Original Series are just... Not, not my jam. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now we have enough influence to go eat up something else, but I'm hoping we'll be done here quickly enough. We can just save it for the Malona system. Technology discovered. Hell yeah. Personal vacuum system. Yeah, unpause that. Let's go for better mines. Nah, I don't care about better mines, but it's cheapest. So let's go for better mines. When the AI compares how technologically advanced you are, and they are, Engaging what they compare is total number of Survey. techs researched, not quality of technology research, not utilization of technology research, not application of technology research, just if you've researched it at all. Oh yeah, look at that armor melt. And now's the awkward part we hit last time. Are we doing enough whole game? We are. We are. Okay, cool. Better shuttlecraft phasers, that's awesome. Better sensor suite? Uh, uh, maybe. I mean, I'm not loving anything I'm seeing here, so let's get better modulated phasers. So far it has only done shield damage, and not a significant amount. All right, cool. They might not even need to go back to dock the repair after this. By that, I mean they definitely won't. The uh, Kyoto is being worse take here, but it still has its shields up. And the whole Govrad is close, but still shields are up. No problem. Get fucked, crystalline entity. Get fucked. All right, you two can over here Let's start getting ready for this you're building in trappist you're building all over the place uh, well they'll idle in orbit then until I find something to do with them now we have all these minerals can probably be making better use of them or making use of them at all Rather. <clears throat> oh, 
don't we cancel that and just build the museum right there? That, that seems reasonable. Twenty-two sixty-five. We have a lot to do in the core. We're gonna be busy in here for a long, long time. Not even talking about integrating new star systems. I just mean clearing up all these little anomalous areas. Even if I keep expanding this way, we will eventually hit this limit. I was talking about trying to close in the Shiliac, and it looks like we've more or less done that. We need Jehoan Ma, Wilmax, and Avalam to really get that locked in. I think we're good. I think that we are very good. Now, I was being a little nitpicky earlier in manually assigning different species to different locations, but it can make a difference. I think we are almost entirely human here. Human, 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 human. Trill. Nah, they're teaching. Trill are good at... Well, they live a long time. They grow slowly. No. Human, human. Human, 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 human. I was gonna say, if I do see some biological diversity on our planets, Klingon. Klingon are trained warriors, stubborn, so you shouldn't be working on society output. And you're not, so you're fine. Just making sure we're making the most out of absolutely every tile. Denobulans. Let's do Alpha Centauri Prime, then take a look at this. Denobulans are really good, they're happy. Slow breeders, that's it. Okay, Denobulans and humans are then interchangeable. Right, humans don't have anything interesting. Oh, humans should be working our society output. I think that they are here. No, they're not. All right, cool. Slight increase. This is a Denobulan as well. Let's switch that out for a human. Marginal difference in output, but it's, it's noticeable. More society is good. Denobulans are fine at everything else. Okay, so Alpha Centauri Prime is fine. Ancient Capsule in order of Carmack 2. While well, studying Carmack 2 sensors have been detected, have been detected. Have detected what appears to be an ancient capsule of familiar design in orbit. How it found itself in the orbit of Carmack 2 is a mystery. Oda. Novins. Novins are humans, but they're quick learners and charismatic instead of anything else. So rather than having a Novin work this, if possible, I should have a human work it. Because human are natural sociologists and have better tile society output. Novin, 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 human, Novin, Novin, Novin human. Uh, give me... We had a human. Where's this human? There we go. Human, go here. Even if it's only a marginal increase to society output, it adds up. New Jamestown. We've got Novins. Novins. <laughs> Novins, 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 Novins. All right, nothing to do there. Alrigi. Human. Good, you're working the right space. You're working the right space. Human, this might be entirely human. Okay, easy enough. Karinsendal. Mm. Betazoids are also natural sociologists, but also telepaths. So they're they're functionally human. Yeah, more or less identical to human. Springboard. This is actually being researched. It's paused, Alex, you fool. I'm like, wow, this doesn't look like anything's happening. It's because it wasn't. 
Um, human, human, human. Human, human, human. Sigma Draconis 3. Klingons are bad at society output. So this Klingon absolutely should not be working something that gives society output. The Zarians are conformists. Bowians are thrifty, so Bowians should be working on our research. The Zarians should be... Ferengi are good at mineral output. Better than Klingons. Uh, oh god. This starts turning into some math. Alright, this Ferengi goes here. Klingon, Klingon. The Klingons absolutely should not be working the society output output area, so put a Boolean in there. Put a Dozarian in there. This is a Dozarian, this is a Boolean. This Boolean is thrifty. Do I value energy or do I value research more? I value research more. Do I have... Um, dang. No, okay, we're just gonna have to have too many Klingons here. Which is a weird thing to think, but... Alright, Sigma Draconis 4, humans, Betazoid, so human, 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 Betazoid, 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 human, human. So it looks like tropical worlds are gonna be our biggest source of confusion. That's very easy, they get prime. Oh god, is this all Klingons? Yeah, it's all Klingons, alright. Can't be helped. Dawn, Denobulans... Denobulans, Denobulans, well, and Binars. Binar are very, very good at tech, but they're weak, so they shouldn't be doing this tile research at all. Get the fuck off of there. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're lowest right now on engineering output, so they should be focusing on tiles with engineering output. These are the two highest engineering tiles on the planet, so good. Then have Kaitos 2. Betazoids, so they're functionally human. Yep, great. Then have Kaitos 3. We got Vulcans. Vulcans are strong, Technology intelligent. Discovered. They're strong and intelligent. So, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> uh, then have Kaitos 3. So, they're strong and intelligent, which means they should be working either minerals or tech. Since we value tech more, they should be working on tech primarily. We have a Dozarian here. Dozarians are fine at this. Vulcan is on there. Here, we'll switch those two up. Novan is on there. Novan is on here. I would rather have you, Vulcan, be working this. Benzonites are intelligent, but they're not strong. So benzonites can be working tech, but they can't be working minerals. <laughs> it's getting mildly complicated, you might might be noticing. Vulcan working there is fine, Vulcan working there is fine, Vulcan working here is okay, but not ideal. We can switch those up. This is fine. Klingons working that is great. Alright, Deneb Kaidos 3 sorted. Next up will be Deneb Kaidos 4. Before then, Ancient Capsule. Unfortunately, the capsule's decaying orbit was miscalculated and it entered Carmack 2's atmosphere earlier than expected, burning up. Fuel storage tanks in the exterior of the capsule punctured during the descent, rocketed away as projectiles. Though the odds were astronomically against it, one of the tanks exploded within 100 kilometers of the man higher, causing minor damage to the hull. Scans of the debris prove inconclusive. That was a lot of time for nothing. So Boleans, lots of Boleans. Ferengi should be working on, yeah, our mineral and energy output. And they are. The Boleans should be working on energy output more than the Ferengi. Well, you're about the same. We don't have any Boleans working anything they shouldn't. That's fine. Done with antimatter explosives. Ooh, mass scale extinction strategy. Armageddon. 
Bombardment blankets the planet and heavy ordnance with the explicit aim of maximizing civilian casualties. Okay, we probably will never use this. By experimenting on several planets, our scientists have developed the optimal locations on a planet for our ships to bombard. From allowing the quickest and most for allowing the quickest and most efficient way to destroy the enemy's infrastructure as well as population. It's rare, so I'm going to research it, but uh, I don't think that's quite in our playbook. Bajorans are agrarian, so you're really good at making food. You're not Long amazing at anything Absolutely. else, so Complete. this Binar should actually be here. I say that because the Binar will improve this tile output, and the Bajorans will not. Betazoid working on here should be switched with you. Betazoid working here is fine. This is a Betazoid. Can I get a Bajoran to work that? I sure can. Bajoran here, Betazoid here. Yeah, you're fine. Binar on there. That's perfect. Betazoid on there. That is dandy. Vickius Prime. <laughs> It's funny I'm putting in all this micromanagement because these these pops, as we colonize more planets or incorporate more planets, if they see a more desirable planet, they'll just up and leave for it. So all this micromanagement doesn't matter. It's just it's agonizing. <laughs> Iridians are intelligent, natural sociologists, so they're really good at society output. That's really the only footnote here. Okay. So, Uridian should be working every research tile on a planet, are they? Yes, yes, they are. We have humans, but they're not as good as Uridians at doing what we're talking about doing here. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Capitan Star Prime. We got Vulcans. We talked about Vulcans being just god tier in terms because they are great at minerals and research. And that's uh very cool vulcan 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 okay easy made a prime we have anr here anr are not great at tech so the iridian should be working the tech here rather than the anr the ANR are talented, they're quick learners, they're conformists, they're telepaths, but they don't have anything for working what I want them to work. Which is a pity. But all said, this is sorted out. Beta Prime A. I'm pretty sure you're all Vulcan. Yep, easy. Ada Serpentis Prime. Got Klingons doing tech. Nah, man. Get out of there. Vulcan doing not tech, Klingon doing tech. Can't have that. <laughs> Can not have that. Vulcan doing this, ah, I guess. Klingon doing that, that's fine. Vulcan doing that. Tellarites. Tellarites are good natural engineers, but Vulcans are intelligent. So when it comes to engineering tech, we should have a Tellarite on that tile. We don't have any engineering except for here, so tough shit, Tellarite. I want you, I want you replaced by Vulcans, wherever possible. You're not thrifty? Really? That's weird. You should be thrifty. Uh, Klingons are just, yep, okay, Vulcan there, Vulcan there, Vulcan there. Ah, oh, no, Tellarite should go here because you get 5% greater engineering output than a Vulcan does. Vulcan here, Klingon here. Alright, the rest of this is fine. Now... Fatal battle, Babel bobble. We got Bajorans, which are human. Bajorans should work food. Malkorians, which are all right, but they're not particularly skilled at doing tech. Our Bolians are better at getting energy than our Bajorans. Our Bajorans are better at getting food. So let's double check all of our food. Give those to Bajorans. I got a Bajoran for this? Yeah. We have Binars. Binars are better at researching than anyone else. So starting with this. 
Let's throw the Vinars on that. This is also going to be Vinar. That's correct. We have Anar coming here as well. Ha! Huh. And Bajoran and Malkorian and Benzonite. Benzonite are intelligent. And I threw one Benzonite up here. Yeah, this is a whole mess, but it should be fine. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We have cultural forums, which we were starting to see being ready to upgrade all throughout here. Ooh, telepathy. There we go. Gagarin genetic enhancements. Our continued studies of genetic engineering bear fruit. We've learned that these genetically engineered members carry with them contagious antibodies that attack other people not engineered the same way at a lethal level. We had to quarantine these enhanced members of our species, but we also learned that these hosts are started to develop telekinetic abilities. So we'll add the telepathy trait to all population of your main species and unlock the path to developing your species' psionic potential. Fuck yeah! Another queen on civil war. <laughs> I, judging from seeing the House of Moog, the House of Capel, the House of Moog, House of Capel three times, I think the Klingons might have gotten themselves into a kerfuffle. Now, the House of Capel has declared on the Klingon Empire, as has the House of Moog. So we have the House of Capel, the House of Moog, the House of Osto, and the Klingon Empire. Man, they are a fracturous people in this mod. It's a pity the AI isn't more capable of reunifying the Empire. These periods of war and civil war actually ended up making the Klingons, in the end, stronger, uh, more refined military civilization, or warrior civilization, I should say. But in the context of this game, all it does is set them back repeatedly and dramatically. So maybe instead of having an actual civil war, this could be something better accomplished by event chains, maybe? I don't know, it's hard to say. But it really does seem to gut the Klingons in this game. Population growth speed is important. Consumer good cost reduction is important. Arming damage, I'm not doing that. Ship upgrade cost, sure, let's reduce that. Building cost, let's reduce that. But educational reform? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's spend, <laughs> spend a bunch of energy I don't really need to spend on stuff I don't really want. Epsilon Indy? Pelagic. Wait, 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 wait. All right. In the Malona system, Malona 3A, an unknown source of chronoton particles, have been detected in the vicinity of Malona 3A. Is this a time traveling dude? This is new. Who the fuck can colonize this? I have Zeppelites. Yeah. Give me Zeppelites. Bullions have 70% here. Really? Really. Bullions and Zeppelite both have 70% habitability on Pelagic World. Wow. Well, I guess we just really have Epsilon Indy. Okay, that's fair. Do we have more Bullions or do we have more Zeppelites? I'm willing to bet we have more Bullions. Yeah, we have way more Bullions. So let's hunt down. <laughs> hunt down some of our... Uh, our Zeppelite and throw them on this planet. Nope, not here. Strangely not there. Okay. Nope. Nope. If I go to expansion plan. Zeppelite. 60%. Is colonizable. But, uh, what? This is colonizable, though. I, I can click the colonize button. Game. <laughs> You'd be fucking with me here. So the Zeppelites are native to marshy worlds, so let's check our marshlands. Frangi, Zeppelite, found it. All right. You would do well here. This would benefit 
two adjacent tiles as with this. I could even plop it down here. Yeah, it'll change that food to energy, but whatever. And because, well, I mean, I could make Epsilon Indy into something, but it's also kind of out there on its own. Maybe not. Here, Alpha Chameleonis. This is on the far western edge of our empire. Let's make this our next star base. I'd say this is a civil war I'll be watching with interest, but truthfully, I won't. I don't expect it to go anywhere. Stellaris 2.0 borked a lot of events in this mod because the AI just don't have big enough fleets to take out star bases. And if they can't do that, they can't progress in wars and they can't win the wars. Excellent plan. Wait, wait, wait. Call me a Patak. Excellent plan. No. Excellent. Nah. Excellent. Mev. Thank you. Mev is what I wanted. Thank you. All about that, Mev. 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 <laughs> A matter of time. While sensors were able to detect a small vessel in the vicinity of the chronoton burst, it disappeared before a full analysis could be completed. That, not an ideal outcome there. That's okay. Mev. Alright, we got a lot of idling construction ships. Because I have not been... Not been pushing our expansion very hard this, this time around. Sagittarius A is done. Why don't you go over here? Trappist 1 is done. Why don't you move all the way over here? And once this survey is done, it's going to have to go over here, but we'll, we'll deal with that. Zulbox Ma. That could be Avalan. <laughs> Avalan. Boosie. Boosie, my boy. Go get Cory. Now we'll expand a little bit here. Can no longer use the any of these Kestis Belly on the Klingon Empire because we no longer boarded them. Malona? Yeah, you're waiting on something important. Fair enough. Fair enough. Excellent plan. You're evangelizing zealots. Evangelizing <laughs> zealots. You're all evangelizing zealots. Working on integrating the Nausicans. I'm pretty pumped for telepathy. That's pretty damn cool. Survey. But that's going to be in the next hour. Probably. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm going to keep streaming. If you're watching on YouTube, this is the end for today. You probably know that by now. Uh, go ahead, comment, share, like, subscribe, all that silly shenanigans. Until tomorrow, toodle -oo. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye bye.